I absolutely love Creative Fabrica because not only does its subscription give you lots of bundles, lots of fonts, lots of graphics, but there's these tools up here at the top. And when I go to tools and I go to shape cloud, I can use this really neat tool. And by the way, in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to use this tool. And even if you don't have a subscription, you can still use it. Let's jump in. This shape cloud tool is really easy to use and there's a whole bunch of options along the left hand side. So I'm going to be walking through that. But first and foremost here on the top left, there's a bunch of words. I'm just going to delete those out using the little X button. And then I'm going to add in my own words, my own phrases here on the top left. Okay, so I added in 11 words, my name and my channel, and then a whole bunch of stuff that describes me. Now I can just click the update changes button right here. And when I do that, it thinks for a second and then it puts all of those words into the shape right here. Pretty cool. Now if that's all you did, hey, you can just download the design on the top right and you're in business. You can use that on a t-shirt or any sort of print on demand design, whatever you like. However, you can also change the shape. So check this out. I can change it to a star and then I can click update changes and that will change it as a star. Now it looks like it's a star, but it's really just the words forming a star. That's pretty cool. There's also a house and there's a whole bunch of different shapes that you can use. And there's also these drop down menus as well. You could go to wedding, for example, and then you could pick a diamond ring. So there's all sorts of shapes that you can utilize for your word art. You can also change the font down at the bottom as well. So I'm going to simply just click another font and then I'll go up to the top and click update changes. And we can see now the font itself has changed. Now another thing I really like as well is the colors. So right now it's been blue, but I can select this option and I can change the color now say to teal and maybe I'll just change it to like say a bird and then I'll go update changes. So just like that, you can have all sorts of interesting designs simply by entering words and then also your shape. I want to show you one more thing here down at the bottom, the very bottom where it says select your color. There's this thing here called schema. And when I select that, it's actually like a whole bunch of different colors. And then when I click update changes, we can see that it's actually multicolored. So if that's your style as well, that's pretty cool. By clicking on Stone Beach, I can also change. There's all these different color schemes. So between the color schemes and the shapes and the words, simply by clicking Update Changes, you can make all sorts of designs for your print on demand or for your graphic design needs. If you don't have a subscription to Creative Fabrica, you can still export up to five designs for free. And if you have a subscription to Creative Fabrica, you can create and download unlimited designs. What a great feature. A subscription is a really good value and you can actually try it for the first month for just one dollar. So I'm going to put this link in the video description below. I encourage you to check it out. I do want to point out this link is an affiliate link. That means if you click on it and you buy something on the site, I would receive a small commission. I really hope you found this video helpful. I absolutely love ShapeCloud and I use it quite a bit. It's easy and it's fun. It's very intuitive too. Lots of different options. Here's another video on how you can supercharge your print on demand skills using Creative Fabrica. Really hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.